Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. This is my CLK500 M113 and recently I have had this issue that the car takes like three, four starts to start up. It takes about 20 seconds of starting until the car starts and then when it starts up, it runs smoothly and nicely. I have done all the servicing on my cars, including some uh, sensor changes. My first suspicion is about the fuel pressure. I just want to test if I get enough fuel pressure uh, before starting the car or not by only switching on the ignition. So let's check this out. So what we need to do is just hook up this fuel pressure gauge to this. Let's go ahead and switch on the ignition and see if we get fuel pressure after turning on ignition or not. So here is the ignition is on now. And now we got about 20 PSI of fuel pressure, which is not enough and it's dropping down rapidly. So it's now 15 PSI and it's still dropping down. PSI and this is not a good sign let me go ahead and switch off the ignition and switch it on again so it switched off and it switched on again and as you can see it dropped to zero so definitely there is a problem here let me switch it off and on again switch off back on and still no pressure so here is the issue a healthy fuel system the pressure inside the fuel rail and the fuel system should not drop more than 10 psi after lapse of one hour let's say the healthy fuel pressure on this car is 60 psi after one hour you shouldn't have less than 50 psi when you shut off the engine so i mentioned this in my last video about fuel pressure but now i can see on this m113 engine it's not happening the fuel regulator on these cars are not in the engine compartment it's integrated with the fuel filter there are basically three different fuel regulator on these cars some of them are inside the engine uh, bay and on the fuel rail. Some of them, like this car, it's integrated with the fuel pump and inside the fuel tank. In this case, on my CLK500, the 2003 fuel sender unit is on the left-hand side of the car and the fuel pump is on the right-hand side of the car underneath the rear seat. Some others, just like my 2004 CLK320, it's on the left-hand side of the car, just in front of the rear wheel. So what happens if I try to start this car now? Let's try it. I'm pretty sure it won't start with the first uh, attempt. The ignition is on. And as you can see, there is no fuel pressure at all. So 100% there is problem with the fuel pressure. So it's either regulator, the fuel pump relay, the computer, or the fuel pump itself. So let's find out. Okay, according to Mercedes, the fuel pump fuse is number four. If you need to check that, I'm pretty sure that fuse is fine because first, on the first attempt, we built the fuel pressure. And if you need to access and check the fuse for the fuel pump, it's in the trunk and that's this one, number four. And have a look at it. It's a 20 amp fuse and it does look very good to me. Also, if you need to check the relay for your fuel pump, it's this small one over here, which is located underneath over here that's the first uh, relay let's go ahead and check this one as well and to check 
our relay, uh, all we need to do is look at the diagram on it and then we can see the coil is number one and two and then we can connect power to number one and two and that should click. So it does and let's check the secondary as well over here and as you can see we got almost zero ohm of resistance that means our relay is good let's check without power and that's there is no resistance so the relay is good the fuse is good if we jump a wire between five and three that means we jump our relay so in that case if we switch on ignition we will, we should get a fuel pump running all the way in order to jump this relay and please do this at your own risk because if you jump the other two pins you will risk frying the computer of your car so make sure you triple check what you're doing so I have built one uh, connector over here with two terminals at the end and I am going to jump number three and five Here I have jumped the fuel pump. So nothing. W209 fuel pump is under the seat. You need to take off two uh, 13 millimeter bolts uh, after removing those two uh, covers and you will find it over here. So let's take these six eight millimeter bolts to access the fuel pump. Okay, covered, removed. The very original uh, clamps over here is telling me nobody has been over here before. Okay, so the connector is out. It's a five pin connector for this CLK 500. There are many, many different part numbers as we noticed uh, about the uh, fuel filter as well. You might have the internal fuel filter you might have the external one so the only way recommended is that you uh, pull off the uh, underneath the car uh, plastic cover to see if there is a fuel filter external one over there or not in this case there is not so it's in tank fuel filter but i'm going to check pin number two and pin number five are the fuel pump uh, connections so let's go ahead and check the resistance of the fuel pump and then we will check it using a 12 volt battery so as you can see i have connected this to my uh, multimeter uh, and there is no resistance on the between pin number two and five so you can see that uh, i get some sort of uh, resistance at some points but it gets disconnected uh, so I mean it's very erratic and it's not consistent sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't so I'll go ahead now and uh, connect my 12 volt uh, battery into this which is here and doing that is easy so pin number two is positive I've checked that already Let's go and check the fuel pressure. So if I go ahead and actually start the engine, it will start. Yes, it's running now, but it's very inconsistent. It sometimes runs and it sometimes it doesn't. And as soon as the pump stops, the uh, pressure drops in the fuel line. So I was so disappointed, but I wanted to try one thing before uh, replacing the fuel pump, which was for my car, the 2003 CLK 500, 
was non-existent on eBay or in on any other stores. It's a very weird part number that I could not find anywhere else. And it's not shared between any W203 or any W211. So I added 20 liters of fresh fuel as well as Zucca's uh, upper cylinder lubricant. So it is a complete fuel treatment that affects the uh, fuel injectors as well as fuel pump. I'm not promoting this uh, product because I'm not receiving any money, but this really worked for me. And it's worked in two ways. First, after a few minutes of running my engine and my fuel pump, the engine started on the first start every single time. And then running this car half for half an hour every night for one week, I now get much more better uh, fuel, uh, fuel pressure reading. And when I shut off the engine, the fuel pressure remains around 60 PSI for about half an hour let's try this now and see how the fresh fuel and this lubricant has affected my fuel pump and fuel regulator so as you can see the car starts with the first start which is a very good thing and when I shut off the engine, the fuel doesn't go back to the tank straight away. The system stays pressurized for much longer time. And this actually gradually happened over the time that I ran the engine every night. So let me shut off the engine and have a look at this gauge. Okay, if you remember when uh, the first time I did this uh, in the beginning of the video, the system lost its pressure after like 15-20 seconds after I shut off the engine. But look how consistent this fuel pressure is now. In a healthy system, as I said, should not lose its pressure more than 10 psi in one hour after shutting off the engine. And this is getting better and better uh, after I put 20 liters of good fuel with some lubricants. And I believe the reason behind this was my fuel was stale. It was almost two years old and the fuel pump was absorbing a lot of moisture. And that was affecting the regulator and the fuel pump causing all the issue but gradually this is getting better i'm not recommending that if your fuel pump gets rusty or damaged you can treat it but in this case i can see a lot of improvement therefore i'm not going to replace my fuel pump now and i'm not going to drive this car to long distances i'm going to inspect and check it time to time making sure the fuel pump is in a good condition and it's working properly so guys if your car is not a daily driver and it's a weekend warrior and you drive it every month or two twice a month make sure your fuel stays uh, clean and not stale and make sure you use some sort of fuel conditioner at the end thanks so much for watching liking subscribing please feel free to comment uh, in the comment section and leave your feedback. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy your Mercedes. Let's go.